For China, there is no time to stop. The country is growing a little slower than normal, but in a more vigorous society. In my region, what the people care about the most is poverty alleviation. So my motion is reducing poverty. My motion this year is about further opening up the country's economy. The National People's Congress session started with Premier Li Keqiang's government work report, in which he reviews China's gaming laws in 2015 and outlines the task. In 2016. This year we set the target of GDP growth between 6.5 and 7 percent. This takes into consideration the guarantee of employment and people's livelihoods. To meet the target, we have acknowledged the challenges of both the sluggish global economic recovery and the continued downward pressure at home. As the first year, the Premier had set a range instead of a point for the growth target. Experts say it means the country is becoming less obsessed with the growth figures and more on the quality and consequences of the growth. In fact, China is the only large industrial country that still sets a growth target each year. We can only, only go for moderation instead of total elimination in a short while. Uh, otherwise, people get confused and disarrayed. Uh, so there, that's why you know, instead of doing a specific figure, we say approximately or in the neighborhood or in the range so that uh, people uh, basically are uh, having a clear direction. Premier Li's work report focused a lot on economic reforms and restructuring. We must accelerate breaking down the obstacles in our systems and mechanisms and increase market vitality through supply-side reform and replacing old drivers of growth with new ones. We should strive to achieve major breakthroughs in basic research, applied research, and research in strategic and frontier fields by 2020. 2016 is also the first year of China's 13th five-year plan, by the end of which the Chinese government has promised long ago to finish building up a moderately prosperous society. In the next two weeks, deputies from across the country will discuss and cast their votes to decide how China should realize that ambitious goal. Han Peng, CCTV, Beijing.